Hello and welcome to another GeoGuessr video. I'm going to be playing the newest mode in GeoGuessr today, Competitive City Streaks. It was released um, probably about a month, maybe a bit more ago. At the time that it came out though, there were quite a few issues with it in my opinion. Uh, the rounds were a bit too long, it was a bit too easy to get cities uh, in a row, and it was easy to build up a streak. So I wasn't a big fan of it at the time, so that's why I haven't featured it on my channel yet. But the developers have apparently uh, upgraded it or improved it. Uh, there's less time between rounds. I think it's a lot more difficult. So let's just get into the, the game and see how it goes. And we have a streak of 39 to chase, which is very different from what we had before when I tried it, which was like 180 or 360. So um, let's see how we go. Starting off with a, I would say a reasonably difficult one. Sun looks to be in the cell. Let's see if we can, is that a Canadian flag? It is. Right, what are our options? I mean, this probably could be Toronto or no, it'll be Vancouver. There is a lake uh, well, it's on one of the Great Lakes, Toronto, so um, there is a lake south of it, but actually it looks a bit off, so I should have known, but um, there you go. Right, where are we here? We look to be in Africa somewhere. It'd be good to see if we can find out which side of the road we're driving on. The fact that the car is parked on the right there well, probably doesn't mean anything. There's another car parked on the right, so let's... Oh, there's only one option in Africa, and that is Dakar, Senegal. Uh, so, fairly easy there, but... Oh, we have a life refill checkpoint that we've just hit, which didn't help, or doesn't help, because we, we, we have full lives, but... Uh, oh well. <clears throat> right. Uh, driving on the right. Looking like the US or Canada. It does feel a bit more like like Canada. No, MD. MD. What would that be? What would MD be? I don't know. Hyattsville, MD. It's it's Washington. We're in Washington. Uh, MD was a it's a that's oh, Maryland. Yeah, of course. Maryland is is very near Washington. Um, oh, DC, of course. Um, so yeah. Okay, we're driving on the left, and I don't recognize the city immediately is there an australian city sydney singapore is an option i'm not sure it is singapore i feel pretty good going sydney here yeah it just there there are some sort of specific uh key locators for singapore such as like sort of asian sort of sounding place names um but, uh, yeah, so that's how I ruled out Singapore. Right, we're driving on the right. Um, what was the name of the place there? Puchettino. Oh. This is Portuguese on the side. Oh, no, it's not Portuguese. What am I talking about? Bucharesti. We're in Bucharest, Romania. I, I saw... <laughs> I definitely I mixed it up with uh, Portuguese because I saw the 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 little squiggle under the one of the letters, and I thought I just read Portuguese before that, so that was a mistake from me. Olafia Gangen. So I think this is Scandinavia, maybe Norway or Sweden. Let's see if we can see a. Oh no, hold on. <laughs> okay. This is a bit confusing, actually. Oh, what was that? Well, that 
that's a Norwegian letters. Let's just go Oslo. What was th something was throwing me off about that? They one of the signs had like a A with a, a dash on it, which doesn't appear in Norwegian, so it was very confusing. Um, but but there you go. Um, right, this is an interesting one. This is a very interesting one. I on instinct, I'm saying this is Rio. But Rio isn't an option, so that cuts that one out. It looks it. It looks. Um, could it be Singapore? Could it be Manila? I suppose it could be Singapore. I think we have to go Singapore. No. Okay. Um, Hong Kong then. I think. Yes. Okay. I should have known, actually. Hong Kong is much more island-like than Singapore. Um, so that's a bit of a waste of a life, but it's just one life for now. Um, okay. We're seven rounds in. No immediate obvious clues so far. The Walk Arcade. Are we in? I'm not seeing anything in the distance. Are we in the UK? We could be in the UK. No, we're not. No. Fly to the Philippines, best islands, Palawan. Uh, we are driving on the left, though. I think Singapore is probably a good shout. That's not Singapore. Okay, so I think we have to go Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> it... It looked, for a little while, like a UK high street. Um, but the trams were throwing me off. And then obviously, <laughs> wow. I mean, I, I completely missed Melbourne, Philippines there. So there was an obvious clue there, uh, regardless. Okay, let's see if we can see what's on this sign. Ooh. I don't know what that says. It looks French, maybe. Or not. Oh, no. I, I'm really not sure what that is. Yay. Okay. We driving on the left? It's Dublin. What, what confused me there was that sign just... I, that didn't even look like... Uh, like, is it, what's, what's the language, Irish language, is it Gaelic? Um, it didn't look like uh, that language, <laughs> let's say. So that, that really confused me. Uh, but we're back to five lives. But we're in a South American country, which always hurts me. Um, have we got, what have we got? Sun in the north, just. What are our options? We have Montevideo or Montevideo, Santiago or Rio de Janeiro. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Montevideo. Yeah, it looked a little more, oh, I, I don't know. I always think of Chile as looking a little drier, but, um, and, and sort of Uruguay looking a bit wetter, uh, let's say. So that's why I guessed Montevideo. Uh, right, are we, is this Italy? Just on first glance, it might be, it might be Italy. I'm not sure. No, it's not, that's not Italian. My instinct was Italy, but it is not. Let's get out of this. Oh no, that's not good, that's not good. We're stuck. Right, let's just go off of this. Z, right, what are our options in Eastern Europe? Prague is an option. I think it's Prague. Yeah. Uh, this, these sort of uses, uh, use of the, the letter Z a lot and the sort of angles, uh, angled accents above the, the Z letters was telling me like Slovakia or Czechia. 
uh, that although there are other countries that use that so that's why I got that uh, steam leg are we in uh, where would we be maybe Holland or uh, sorry Netherlands I keep saying Holland apologies yeah we're in we're in the Netherlands oh we could be in Antwerp does this look like Rotterdam or Antwerp oh the tram the tram would be useful okay oh what's that say Belgium BE Antwerp done good yeah I was I was kind of caught in between the two I think I was going to guess Rotterdam without that clue so that's good that I saw that all right we are through 12 rounds 53 is the top spot which is pretty good and we've got Cyrillic but this is the Rossi so I think we're in Russia yeah what are our options in Russia we've got Novosibirsk and that's it could also be Ukraine. I could be Belarus as well, couldn't it? B U L. Oh, I'm very tempted to go for for. Uh, no, no, that wasn't Belarus. Okay, let's let's go for Novosibirsk. Okay, let's go for Kiev. Yeah, lost a life there. Did I miss anything? Ku. Uh, Kuni. No, I didn't see. That might say something like Kiev. Yeah. Oh well. I I because it said Rossi, I thought it meant Russian bank. Um, but I don't know everything about about the sort of Cyrillic languages. So, okay, we're driving on the left, and it looks like South Africa because of the sort of fencing. So let's just go into Johannesburg, and it's correct. Round 14, checkpoint reached. No, oh, we get a life in two rounds, so that's good. Because we're on four at the moment. We are, are we driving on the left again? Uh, I'm immediately thinking Australia. Is there a domain name there? Oh, New Zealand, we're in New Zealand. Okay, and we only had one option, that's Wellington, the capital. Uh, so that's good, and through to the next round. We are storming through at the moment, and is this Vietnam? This is Vietnam, isn't it? I was seeing the flag and I was also seeing the, the text, so I'm pretty confident we can just go in and into Hanoi and guess correctly there and we've got another life excellent all right so say x on well said leon that way so we're in france what are our options in france Paris or Marseille. I mean, it looks like Marseille, judging by Lyon to the north. Yeah. I mean, okay, yeah, we could have got that from just looking at the mountains. I don't think Paris has any mountains nearby. Exclusivo, so we're probably in a Spanish speaking country. Don't see where the sun is, which is not a good sign. Do we have a flag anywhere? Or domain name would be useful. Okay. It looks like, I mean, these are all, all the Places it was advertising, all the food was is is Mexican. So I'm tempted to go Mexico City. No, should we try Guadalajara? Yes. Okay, good. So we only lost a life for that. We get another one. One, two, three rounds. Yeah, it, it was advertising. I think Sol is a Mexican beer as well. So it just felt. Oh, 
Brussels city shop. So, I mean, I'm just going to assume we're in Brussels. Look at all the options we get. This, this is something they've definitely improved in the game. So, Brussels. <laughs> Judge, oh, there's a, a big Belgian flag on the shop there as well. This is about the easiest round we could have got. Hmm. Just looking at the uh, the signs, it's useful to sort of remember what signs show up in different cities, especially for this game. And where are we here? We have Arabic on the signs. What are the Middle Eastern countries we've got as options? We've got Cairo, Beirut. I didn't know Cairo and I, d I didn't know Lebanon could show up in GeoGuessr, so this is interesting. Oh, but this is actually, yes, yeah, there's someone walking, so this could, it could be Cairo. Beirut Marathon. There we go. We're in Beirut. And we're on to 20. And we're in the sixth place. Which is pretty good. I don't think we'll get to 60. That is a very good effort for that person. Zirat Banksy. Is this. Is this maybe. Oh, this is uh, Istanbul. Karake. I was here just before COVID hit. Uh, in what was it November 2019 or something like that so um, yeah this is right on the Bosphorus in fact I was standing in this exact spot I believe the um, Hagia Sophia is on the other side of the river over there as is the Sultan Ahmed Mosque and we're in the next round and where are we is this Japan yeah Oh, wait, maybe not. This could be... Oh, no, this is Korea. This is Korea, I think. Right, so this is a Korean city. What are our options? Right, we have two. We have Busan and we have Seoul. Right, there's a potential of losing a, a life here. From what I know of Seoul, it isn't that mountainous. Having said that, I don't know if Busan is either, but I'm going to go Busan. No, okay, it was Seoul. It was Seoul. <laughs> Lost a life. I, I, I say mountainous. I didn't know there were sort of, yeah, hills slash mountains uh, around Seoul, but I haven't been, so don't hold that too much against me. <laughs> what is this? FNB, First National Bank. Is this... UJ Rugby, okay. I mean, I think we might be in South Africa, judging by the... Yeah, we're just going to go Johannesburg. Yeah, and we're correct. Just judging by, well, the mention of rugby, and I'm pretty sure I've seen FMB, that, that bank, um, in South Africa before. So, fairly easy one, that. This is interesting, and we do not have a... I, uh, we, we can't move, <laughs> let's say. <clears throat> okay. Where could we be? This looks quite a lot like... Oh, you know what? I don't know. I really don't know. Sandman. Where is this? It is looking a little bit like... So sort of maybe... Uh... I'm not confident here. I'm not confident at all. Maybe, no. I was thinking, could we be perhaps Lisbon? No, Porto. I'm not liking any of these. I should have just guessed. Why did I not guess? Completely, I, I, I wasn't watching the time. I was, I was thinking to go for one of the Portuguese cities, but, um, I just didn't have enough time. That was that was bad, but that's what happens when you can't move. Um, so let's try and make sure we get this one right. Are we in probably Singapore? It could be maybe the Philippines or or elsewhere. Oh no, we're on the end of a street. My Malaysia. So are we in Kuala Lumpur? Probably. Yes, we are. 
and we don't get another life for a while so we're gonna have to sort of grind out a few a few uh, uh, progressions here before we get another life um, okay Scandinavia maybe We in, oh, I'm not sure. I'm feeling, feeling like Estonia or Latvia or Skilda. Mm. Or Iceland. What are we reckoning about Iceland? Reykjavik? Yeah. Yeah. I just wasn't sure at first. And then I saw sort of the mountains in the distance and the the, the lettering and, and decided that was it. <clears throat> okay. Driving on the right. Arrête. Is this French Canada? I think it is. I think it is. Are we in Montreal? We should be, yeah. So that's French for stop, um, but it looked very uh, North American. So that's your clear sign that you're in French Canada. All right, and are we in, oh, we could be in, no, we're driving on the right. So this is probably America, uh, US probably. Looks fairly Higgins. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing any okay what are our options in america or in the us we have los angeles san francisco um houston which it could be okay let's go for houston no right do we go toronto no oh i'm worried here Los Angeles, we're through. Wow, I, I, I don't know LA well, and this didn't look a lot like LA, but it did look quite, quite far south, so I should have just stuck with my gut. I, I panicked and went to Toronto. It was stupid. Those trees, you wouldn't see them in Toronto. Uh, I, I do tend to do that sometimes. Right, we, we made it through um, by the skin of our teeth. Islands Vifalt. Well, that sounds German, but that sounds sort of Estonian on those signs, so I'm not sure. Uh, we might be going out here. I'm not seeing too much. This looks Finnish or Estonian. What what are our options here? Oh, there's just too many. Do we go Tallinn? Tartu. That's Finland think Helsinki no oh it was Estonia Tallinn it was an okay showing I just had too many options there and I didn't have the uh, I, I couldn't afford to get one wrong and I thought Tartu Finland but I was actually thinking of Turku Finland um, and there you go we're out so let's show the summary. Let's see, there's, there's some good statistics in here, perhaps. Um, correct, knocked out two. Uh, I lost the most lives, obviously, on LA. There were just too many cities that I thought it could have been. But realistically, I should have just gone with my gut and gone, uh, it was a southern city. So there you go. 83% survived Tallinn so more people went out on that one uh, the Montevideo one tripped up some people as well um, and we ended up losing uh, we lo we lost a life to Hong Kong that was pretty bad Kiev uh, pretty understandable Guadalajara yeah there was Mexico City in that one Seoul as well we had Busan Porto I just ran out of time that that was kind of the start of the, the beginning of the end let's say because uh, there was this uh, this bad uh, area here but I quite enjoyed that actually uh, it's it's a lot quicker the the rounds are a lot quicker and um, 
it's a lot harder, I would say, as you can see, like the, the top score there. I mean, I was top three there with 29. Uh, so pretty pleased to, to get that far, but also a bit gutted I didn't get further. Uh, but you can't, uh, you can't win them all. Um, you can keep going forever with this game in theory. But uh, I'm glad with the changes they've made. So uh, let's, uh, let's play this again at some point. But uh, for now, I will bid you all farewell. Thank you very much for watching.